Whether you're working on metal or wood, the right grade of abrasive grit can help you polish off the job. They start with bauxite, a naturally occurring mineral that looks a lot like clay. Or they might use alumina, depending on the kind of abrasive that's being made. They mix it with other raw materials in an electric arc furnace. Here, three large electrodes use intense electrical current to heat the mix to over 2,000 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a live volcano. In fact, it looks a lot like lava as the minerals melt and blend together. Standing well back and using a long ladle, a technician takes a sample for chemical analysis. If it confirms that the mix is right, they empty the molten minerals into a big steel pot. The searing liquid weighs several tons, so they use a crane to transport it to a cooling area. Twenty-four hours later, the abrasive minerals have hardened, so they bring in the wrecking ball. It cracks open the hardened mix, which is still quite hot at the core. They drop the ball repeatedly to break up the hardened minerals. They transfer the lumps of abrasive material to a conveyor system. More crushers, these ones have metal plates, break them up into fist-sized chunks. A magnet picks up any excess iron. And then it's into the roll crusher. It rolls them between two iron cylinders to grind them to bits. They assemble some screens in decreasing mesh sizes to make a kind of shaking sieve. It sifts the mineral particles through the screen with largest mesh first, then down to the smaller ones, to sort them by size. For some perspective, we place a quarter against the various mesh sizes. As you can see, only the finest particles of grit would pass through the tightest weave. The bits of grit bounce across the screens and fall into hoppers, a different one for each size. The coarsest grains will be used for rough sanding jobs. The smaller the grain, the finer the finish. The finest grits are microscopic in size. To find out how the coarse abrasives shape up, they funnel them into a cup. Then they weigh the grains. A higher weight means they're densely stacked and therefore blockish in shape with blunt edges. A lower weight means they're flat and sharp. They use a different test for the most minuscule grits. They suspend the particles in an electrolyte solution, then apply an electrical charge. This allows them to count and evaluate the grits. Now these abrasive grits are ready to be packaged and shipped out. Making them has been, well, quite a rough job. Coming up, We'll go to the sandpaper factory, where they'll get some backing. We'll have the nitty-gritty on that process next.